Everyone new through 12 here. Thank you guys for watching the first part of my series. As we continue on this terrible, terrible arc. <laughs> oh god, I, j I hope I can get to the end just so I can do the next game so we can get back to the happy fun times. Oh god. <laughs> See, you know, just from like, you know, descriptions and like, of just base things saying, oh, you know, there's some horror aspects. Uh, never have I before in ever any horror scenario. I wanted it just to go back to the fun times. God, I want that so bad. I just want this to have a happy ending at this point. This is terrible. Oh, uh, just torture. Oh, it's terrible. I, it's destroying all of my emotions. I'm dying on the inside every single episode at this point. Because that last year, like, oh god, that was terrible. Just the whole putting her in, just down and completely de degrading her. God, that, god, that really did, re like, hurt, just hit me hard. God, that was terrible. Anyways, I'm a little happier now, so let's have things shit on my happiness. Yay. Hey everyone. Are you still alive? Are you all still alive? Oh god. Fucking Kimiyoshi's still dangling. God, I feel bad for him. Kimiyoshi is hanging by the collar with his head up to the ceiling. God. <laughs> Jesus. That's... That's terrible. Just because he said one bad thing, it's like, come on. This is like some of the worst torture. He doesn't even move. Maybe he's already dead. Oh, God. I'd want to die. Satoko is on a cross-shaped restraining table. Oh, good God. She glares at me with red and swollen eyes. She must have been crying. Fu <laughs> fucking crucified her? <laughs> the hell? I wanted to put her on a, a special restraining table to pound nails into her hands. Ah! <laughs> but Satoko is too small for that. Oh, thank God. Jesus. Oh, I forgot you fucking hate her. I walk up to Kimiyoshi and poke his body with my toe. There is no response. A oh, fucking course he's dead. Father Kimiyoshi, are you dead? Murder! Murder! Maybe he sought to go witness Kimiyoshi's last moments. I take a thick knife from the wall and stab Kimiyoshi with it. <laughs> okay. There is no response. Oh god. You're a cold hearted bitch. Father Kimiyoshi, if you're alive, you better tell me, okay? You can't fool me. I walk to the boy that's hanging Kimiyoshi. This your last chance. Are you alive? Let me know if you are. I pause just for a moment, then turn the pulley. Did you, like, rip his fucking head off? Kimiyoshi's body is up in the air now. It's swaying strangely. Oh, God. It looks more like a dead body now. Shion, why are you doing this? Hmm? Ah, I get it. The door to the huge cave is still open. I bet Satoko was talking to the one in the cell while I was gone. That's how she knows my name. But actually, that name is wrong. No, I'm not Shion. I'm the real Mion. Oh, God. It pains me. That I have to actually acknowledge that. Oh, it pains me. Ugh. The one you all thought was Mion is Shion. It's kind of confusing, huh? If you don't get it, that's okay. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you kill Rika? <laughs> eh. Eh. That's, that's not even the worst part. <laughs> I mean, stringing up Kimiyoshi for what seemed like days. A couple days. That's, that's just as bad. Let Sasuke watch me take care of Rika's body. Oh, God! Jesus, that's fucked up. Of course I let her see Rika's neck, too. Oh! Oh! For a day, Rika deserved it. She came over to kill me. I just fought back, that's all. No way! Rika wouldn't do that. If you don't believe me, that's fine. It's none of your business, anyway. What are you going to do with me? Oh, God. I don't even like Satoko that much, and I don't even want to read this next part because I have a bad feeling about this. 
Because usually people don't strap people to crosses for, uh, very, uh, little punishment. I'm gonna kill you. Satoko's eyes go wide. I'm sure she was expecting my answer, but she still looks shocked. I would be. <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't be. I'd be like, I just want you to fucking kill me already. I bet she didn't expect me to state it so plainly. Kind of like Rika, I'd go out on my own terms instead of being, you know, subjected to a torture maniac like you. Kind of same thing. I respect Rika for that part. <laughs> Because that's definitely how I would have rather gone out. I don't want her to fucking torture me. I'd just fucking kill me. I hear a noise from the grate. I also hear Shion's voice echoing in the huge cave. Oh. No, sis. Don't kill Satoko. I answer her clearly. <laughs> do you finally realize what you've done? Do you finally realize you didn't do anything to save Satoshi, although you had the power to? That was why he was killed. You ignored a million... You ignored millions of chances to rescue Satoshi. That's right, that's your sin. Yeah! Well, before I even finish my sentence, I stabbed Satoko's right arm. Ah! Oh, God damn it! Yeah, I don't need sound effects. Her blood starts to flow out. Mmm. Beautiful. This is nothing compared to what happened to Frude Rika. No, well, I can't say that's, that's not wrong. I screw the knife into Satoko's arm. She bites down hard and cries. Uh, stop it. God damn it. Fucking, that's, that's taking it to the nth degree. Fucking twist the knife. Oh, God. Stop. Don't kill Satoko. Let her go. I don't care what you do to me, but please let Satoko go. Why couldn't you say that for Satoshi? It's too late. How do you know she didn't? I was the one screaming like you back then. But no matter how loudly I screamed, it was no use for re reaching them, rescuing him, saving him. I want you to go through the same thing. Oh, uh, oh God, stop. Oh, God. I can really do without the noises, though. I step Satoko's arm repeatedly, but the knife keeps hitting her bone. It doesn't feel like I'm stabbing her flesh. Oh, God. You don't have to describe. I like it. I like details. I don't need that. Stop, Mion. Stop, Nisan. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, Shion. How about this? I'll tell you how you can save Satoko. You apologize to me 1,000 times. I'll let Satoko go when you're done. What do you think? I don't lie. If you really apologize 1,000 times, I'll keep the promise. Well, what do you think? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, stop it. No. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She even starts apo to apologize like a broken record. Oh my god. Ah. She's so stupid and honest. She doesn't even think of cheating. I bet she's really going to count to 1,000. Oh my god. Oh, she is such a good person. I stab Satsuko's wrist. Oh, fuck! I feel something hard. I guess I either crushed her bone or scraped it. Ah. 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 I don't know if I can read this nigga. Oh, God. It must have been extremely painful. No shit. Satoga screams. Shion's voice gets louder as if it's trying to overpower Satoga's scream. She doesn't want to hear it. That's why. <laughs> All you do is cry to get what you want. You think your Nini is going to come. Knock me down and rescue you, huh? Yeah, right. The knife is still in Satsuko's wrist. I slide it towards her elbow. Oh, God, God. Oh, my God. Well, this is, uh, this is fucked up. This is just sadistic at this point. Oh, God. <laughs> Satoko, can you hear me? Hey, listen to me. I slap her face several times and make her look at me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, thank God she's not doing this to Shion. Original Shion. Yeah, I'm just... I didn't do that to Shion. 
God, I'd be I'd be a mess. I'd be an emotional wreck at this point. I'd just be like, no, oh, please stop. I'd be saying I'm sorry a thousand times, hoping you'd get over it. Fucking cut to when I say a thousand times I'm sorry. Oh, God. Stop it. Do you know what you've done? Do you know how your existence co cornered Satoshi? At least she's not, like, you know, holding her hair and, like, pulling her head back and, like, punch her in the face. Spit on her. Might as well. Jesus. Nini. Nini. That's right. That's all you did to him. Every time you cried, Satoshi protected you. But have you ever thought of what kind of a stubborn... Uh, what kind of burden you were to him? I don't know why I would read that as stubborn, but whatever. He wasn't a hero or a Superman. But was he the... Was he Batman, though? That's the true question. Yeah. He was just a normal human being, just like you. So he is Batman. Have you ever even thought of what he had to go through because of you? No, you didn't. You never even tried. You just let Satoshi take care of you. You just leeched off Satoshi. As he got injured for you, you just licked his blood and lived. Okay, call. I don't think she did that, okay? I think she's more like used him as a human shield. Not knowingly, of course, but... I don't think she's. <laughs> I don't think she unintentionally did that. Well, no, but then they act. Uh, earlier, they did say that you know she like. Once she's behind Sato, she provoke her on and all that. That's fucked up if she does that. I would agree with that. At that point, yeah, that's kind of licking his blood and living. That's kind of doing that. That's definitely manipulating him. You're cursed. How could you still call his name? Huh? <laughs> After telling her what I've been wanting to tell her, I breathe roughly. <laughs> You're going to pay for your sin now, with in my help. Cry as much as you want, scream as much as you want, and realize Satoshi will never come rescue you. You cornered him. You made him disappear. You killed him. Oh, God. Uh, what? You don't feel anything in your right arm? Oh, don't say what I think you're gonna say. Don't say what I think you're gonna say. Don't say I'm moving to the left arm now. Oh, god damn it! Okay, then let's move. Use your left arm. Oh, god. Oh. Yeah. Oh, god. I stab her left arm repeatedly and the blood flows out. Good god. Can she please- oh, she's not gonna bleed out anytime soon. I mean, it's just your fucking arm. She'd have to stab, like, high up in your shoulder. To even hope to get, like, a really good vein or artery going. No, you'd want an artery instead. But Satoko's reaction isn't fun anymore. She doesn't cry or scream like she did before. Well, you're not putting enough effort into it, I guess. That puts me in a bad mood, so I stab the back of her left hand and twist the knife. Oh my god! Oh my god, that is fucked up. Because that's not a wound that's gonna bleed. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, you know any sympathy that... The very minuscule amount I had for Mion at this point, that's just... That's out the window. Fuck. This is fucked up. But, Satsuko still just moans. She doesn't scream. What's the matter? Are you trying not to scream so you won't make me happy? <laughs> That's great! <laughs> Satoko stays calm and looks at me. Yes, that... right. Huh? I cornered him. That is why he disappeared. Oh my god. Don't make me start caring about Satoko. I still don't like her. <laughs> Just because... She was really fucking annoying in the third game. Yeah, she was being abused and all that, but near the end, it's kind of like, yeah, she kind of pushed KG off a fucking building. Even though she probably assumed that he killed Rika and all that, but eh, still kind of fucked up. I already knew that on the day Nini disappeared. Oh, God. Oh. Not only do they have physical pain, but now they're going to have the emotional pain. Great. I wasn't strong enough. I depended on Nini. 
I'm sure it was hard on him too, but I couldn't stop. You're absolutely right about that. I have no excuse. Satoko doesn't sound sarcastic or as if she is trying to make me happy. She speaks so naturally. Hmm, that's interesting. I never knew you re already realized what you've done. Ah, oh, this takes all the fun out of it. I'm just gonna torture you some more. <laughs> Stabs her in the foot. Heaney is coming back. He is coming back someday. But when he does, I'm going to show how independent I am. Fucking slits her Achilles tendons. Ah! I don't need him anymore. I don't hide behind him anymore. I'm going to show him I am really independent. <laughs> when he comes back, huh? I stab Satago's arm like crazy. Ah! Uh, yeah, but which arm? The left one or the right one? <laughs> but Satago doesn't even scream. She bites down tightly and swallows her screams. Oh god. I'd be calling her every name under the fucking sun. I wouldn't give her the satisfaction of me saying it hurts. I would just be telling her, you know, I fucking hate you. And everything. Just bring it- oh, if I knew like she was like into Satoshi or whatever, I would just like make up lies that, you know, oh, he actually was really into Mion and not you. Like that kind of shit. I would just manipulate the shit out of her just to piss her off. Knowing I'm gonna die anyways. I'm gonna go crazy and just say everything and make up a bunch of shit just to like fuck with her mentally just because push her already she's already gone Nini is coming back I know he is I'm waiting and when he comes back I'm gonna apologize to him for depending on him too much so I won't give up until that day comes I'll never depend on him again ever no matter what kind of hardship I have to endure I won't ask him to help me I won't cry and I won't scream if I cry he'll come that's why I'm going to endure by myself. Uh, uh, mm. Stop it. <laughs> I'm not supposed to like your character, Saltigo. Stop it. <laughs> Just stop it. Damn you. What do you think you're saying? If it's fun to stab me, go ahead and stab me. As much as you want. But if you think I'm going to cry for Nini, well, too bad. I will not cry, ever. If you don't believe me, try it. Nini is watching me. He is watching me endure. He sees that I'm not like the I was before. And when he sees that, he is going to come back. Come on, try it. I won't cry. Try to see how strong Hojo Satoko is. Shit, shit, shit. I'm gonna show her. Here, here, here. Nini, you're watching me, right? I've become so strong. Nothing will bring me down. Oh, God. This isn't gonna end well. This is nothing. This won't make me cry. I won't cry for your help. I can endure this. I'm gonna endure this. This is nothing compared to what you had to go through for me. Shit, shit, shit. Why doesn't she feel the pain? Doesn't it hurt? No, it can't be. I'm stabbing her and the knife is in so deeply. Her blood is flowing out and I'm turning her flesh inside out. Oh, God. Fuck off. There's a lot of points in the body where there's just, like, pain centers that you can just hit and it's just, just do that. If you really want to fucking get her in pain. That's what happens when you take a lot of science classes and biology classes. <laughs> you know where a lot of the painful areas are. And where the least amount of blood flow goes and... Hit there! They're gonna feel the pain. They're not gonna bleed for it. How can she still talk that way? Why doesn't she cry and scream? Fucking lop an ear off. No, that'll bleed like a bitch. It'll hurt even worse, though. After Satsuko says what she wanted to, she shuts her mouth. She doesn't say a word after that. Yeah, fuck you, Shion. No matter how- or Mion. No matter how I stab her, twist the knife, rip her, drag her flesh- Ah, <laughs> oh, god. Oh, mental image is too strong. She doesn't even make a sound. What is this? This isn't the Satoko I know. Satoko isn't strong like this. If Satoko is this strong, she wouldn't have been a burden to Satoshi. Why wasn't she strong before? It's too late. Everything is too late. She didn't realize it in time. Uh -huh. Her blood makes my hand slippery and I dry drop the knife. 
I'm bloody from head to toe. Oh god. Satsuko is still enduring the pain. She's still alive? She's enduring this cruelty so she can just display her strength. How is she alive? Fucking die already. I couldn't defeat Satsuko. I couldn't crush her strength. Satsuko acted, achieved her goal. I can just start. God. I don't want to tell her, like, how you, can, how you can be more fucking sadistic. Oh, make her rip her th fingernails out. They'll fucking make her scream in pain. They'll hurt. Satsuko became independent, so she doesn't need Satoshi anymore. She believed Satoshi would come back one day. She looked forward to a day when she could show her brother how strong she became, has become. But Satoshi didn't see that. Instead, I, I, who never even thought that Satoshi would come back, was the one who witnessed her strength. What was I thinking? I thought Satoshi was dead. No, I assumed he was. Why did I? I, I never even thought of waiting for him. <laughs> That is, actually, no, you, you technically did for a year. You said you'd wait for him or whatever. Did she say she'd wait for him or, like... She was optimistic that he'd be back, but she deep down knew he was dead. That kind of thing. So, yeah, she didn't wait for him at all. That is true. <laughs> because you're a selfless and a bitch. Selfish bitch, not selfless. God, no. Nothing about her is selfless. I didn't believe he would come back. I didn't wait. I tried to avenge him, but I guess what I did was to forget about him. But Satsuko is different. She never even thought he was dead. No, maybe she did a little. But she waited. She waited for a day when she could show him the brand new her. She waited patiently. What about me? I didn't do anything. I wanted to forget about my sadness, so I tried to find an enemy. I became a demon, using Satoshi's revenge as an excuse, so I didn't have to think like a human. That's true. I lost. I couldn't endure the pain of waiting for Satoshi, so I chose to become a demon. In other words, I got rid of my soul, the soul that loved Satoshi. That's like getting rid of Satoshi. Satoko won. Her mouth is relaxed now. Her eyelids are half shut and I can see her eyes a little. Her eyes look like she's dreaming about something happy. Eh, time to ruin that. Fucking gouge an eye out. Oh, don't describe that, please. Satoshi is there in her eyes. Satoko endured until Satoshi came for her. That's fucked. That's fucked up. Satoko runs up to Satoshi. She jumps onto him. Satoshi hugs her, and they spin around. You can cry now. Satoshi tells Satoko. Satoko cries so hard. Satoshi rubs her head so gently. We'll be together forever. He continues to rub her head so gently, so gently. Satoshi, I was waiting for you too. Didn't show it. What pre functor <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, I can't read. Perfunctoratory words. He was already dead inside of me. You fucking killed all of my emotions. That's what you deserve. I s I, a part of my humanity is gone, I swear. By the end of this seri series, I will be a demon, probably. I can only pray that there's a happy end at the end, a happy end at the very last chapter. That's all I can pray for. God, I hope there is one. Okay, I'm gonna refer. I'm, uh, I will make it even easier for it to accomplish. Can original Shion just live? That's all I want. I want her to be happy. If she can be happy, then that is a success. If it ends on that, everything else is fine by me. I don't care what happens. As long as she isn't tortured and she is happy at the end. That would be a win in my book. Please. Please. All I ask for. Is it too much? Probably. I never believed in our reunion. How pitiful of me to say that. Just because I saw Satoko and Satoshi reunite. As Satoshi hugged Satoko, his eyes and my my eyes met. Meet. Oh, fuck you. Shion. Satoshi's eyes say. I asked you for a f you a favor. What? A favor? I try to remember. What kind of favor did Satoshi ask me? To watch over Satoko or take care of her? Because I remember that part because I was like, Oh, don't say what I want you to say. 
And then they didn't for a while. I was like, oh, I thought he was going to say, you know, to take care of her for, like, watch over her, for, like, until he gets back or whatever. Or, like, just to, like, you know, take care of her and protect her. And then it's, like, at the very end drops it. God damn it. <laughs> Satoshi looks at, at me so sadly. I can't remember. Yeah, to be fair, I... I wouldn't have any emotional attachment to you at that point. I'd be like, you fucking tortured the shit out of my sister. And the uh, really good friend of mine who's stuck in a cell right now that you've completely broken down mentally. Ah, I don't have a lot of emotions towards you now. I really don't like you. His sad looks ripped my heart. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I was just making sure I actually read that part. The blood flowing out from me isn't as pretty as Satoko's blood. My blood is a slimy liquid that looks like vomit with filthy chunks of food in it. Probably because it is vomit. This what was filling my body. Was she like throwing up or something? Because I don't think she's actually like, unless she cut herself. That'd be fucked up. That's a terrible way to end this story. Actually, no, it'd be good. And I would pray that someone would find she owned, if she gets happiness. We all live happily ever after the end. Then I can stop reading these fucked up chapters. Whether it's a real curse or somebody's conspiracy, I won't disappear and I won't let them. You won't disappear? No. Not until I buy that teddy bear. I'll get the money pretty soon. I won't go anywhere until then. Huh? It's a memory of the past, but when? That's right. It's a memory of the day before last year's Watanagashi. Satoshi called me. Uh, my own is home. I have to go. Uh, okay. Me on. Huh? No way. Actually, that makes sense now. <laughs> hey! <laughs> his aunt was home, so I'm sure he wanted to hang up as quickly as possible. Satoshi paused and spoke. I'll leave... Satoko to you. I was close enough. I was paraphrasing. <laughs> you know, take watch over. Eh, paraphrasing. My knees and elbows start to shake. You done fucked up. My teeth chatter and my fingers are shivering. Satoshi asked me to. Uh, uh, what have I done? I couldn't wait for Satoshi to come back. What have I done? Hey, look, you're fucked up. Words like, what have you done? I don't want a part of that. Fuck you. Come back, so I filled myself with evil thoughts and acted as I pleased. <laughs> no shit. I didn't believe his return. I even forgot about Satoshi's last request. How can I say I love him? Because you probably don't. You just wanted someone to take care of, honestly. Just someone to take that vo fill that void. Anyone could have been in that situation, and you would have probably acted the same way. Just if it was like someone stupid who stood up for you. Someone that you know you could take care of, it would have been the same thing. I don't think it's love, it's more of just a mother mother instinct, I guess. A motherly instinct. Though some people are just generally like that, like I said before. I just wanted to forget about the loss, so I made myself all bloody. How can I welcome him back? I didn't believe Satoshi would come back. I didn't believe Satoshi was alive. I didn't think he was alive, so I thought he was dead. I believed in his death. I killed him my, in myself. Nobody else did. I did. But Satoko believed until the very end. And she was rewarded at the final moment. Satoko isn't here anymore. She doesn't need a bloody body full of pain. But I'm still here. I'm trapped in this bloody and filthy body. I'm gonna rot in this body. You're already fucking rotted. On the inside, at least. <laughs> Satoshi was waiting for both Satoko and me. But to be reunited with Satoshi, we had to keep our promises. Satoko's promise was to be strong. She was. Satoko kept that promise until the bitter end. And Satoshi embraced her. My promise was to take care of Satoshi, uh, Satoko for Satoshi. I never kept the promise from the beginning. Therefore, Satoshi won't embrace, embrace me. Nah, yeah, probably not. Eh, I wouldn't. Fuck you. Even if I rub Satoko's wounds and ask her if they hurt. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> yeah, wonder why you're the one that inflicted them. That's when I feel something behind me. Stop it. It's not Tatsushi or the thing that scared me before. I don't know who it is. 
but it's right there criticizing my mistake. Then I finally realize that is me. I've always been there, standing behind me and watching me break the promise. Satoshi asked me to take care of Satoko, yet I didn't keep the promise. I was watching that happen. The fuck? I cried and I gave up on myself. Wait, Satoshi gave up on me, and I gave up on myself. What will happen to me now? I hope you die.